In this video, we're going to be updating the state of our store when the user refreshes the browser. In this case, we're storing the user inside the local storage when the user is logged in. And when the user refreshes the browser, we lose all the information in our, in our store. We want to keep the user logged in when they have a user inside of the local storage. Let's refresh our browser and see what happens inside of our store. And as you can see, we lose everything. And if we go inside of our user now, we no longer have this user inside of our store. Back in the diagram, when the user refreshes the browser, we're going to dispatch an action and pass the user in and update our store with the user whenever the browser is refreshed. Let's create our action first. We'll only be working inside of three files, so I'll go ahead and open all three up. And we'll be working inside the auth action, the reducer. And where we'll be dispatching our action from is the core TS file. I'll open that up as well. And we'll start inside of our actions. This action is going to have a payload. I'll use my snippet generator. And I'll call this action browser reload. And where are we dispatching it from? It'll be from our core component. And the event is browser reload. The payload is going to be a user. And we're already bringing that type in, it's, it's going to be user. Let's save it so it formats. And that's the only action we need to create for this. And then we need to update the reducer. The new action we created is very similar to the login success action. It passes in a payload of user. And when that happens, you could stack these actions within these on methods. Like for example, I could add it on to the end here. And it's called browser reload and just make sure you add the comma and you can stack as many actions as you want as long as it's passing in the same payload you can just stack all your actions within your on methods and that really prevents a lot of duplicate code and that's all we need to do in the reducer save and now we're ready to dispatch the action from our core component here we're getting the user from local storage and then we're sending it off to our service and that's how we're updating the application with the user. And now we're going to do it a little different than that. So I'll remove this. And now we're going to dispatch our action and just pass the user into our action. Here I'll add in our store. We're going to need, need access to that. And then the type is going to be app state. And now we're ready to dispatch the action. And right here I'll dispatch it. And using the dispatch, and which action are we dispatching? And that is the browser reload. And I'll just pull that in that way. And then we need to make sure we pass in the payload. And that's going to be user. If your variable matches the payload that you're passing in, the payload name, you could just enter it like that. Or you could do it this way, like that. You're doing the exact same thing. So now we're dispatching our browser reload. Now we don't need this anymore. I'll remove this and remove this auth service. We don't need that in here. And this. And now we're ready for testing. Let's save it and check our application. Make sure everything is still working. The browser automatically refreshed when I saved the file and we can see the action being dispatched. And if we look at the payload that we passed into the action, here is the user that we're getting from our local storage. And if we look at our store, we could see the user within the store now. Now, whenever the browser refreshes and the user has a user in the local storage, we'll automatically have our store be updated. In the next video, let's create another selector and we'll create a brand new file for that. And that's gonna be for the header section. So we could get this shopping cart and also the admin link to show up. And we'll do that in the next video.